All right, guys, so the leaks are officially in and we are getting a tremendous update. This update is huge and I'm gonna cover absolutely everything from A to Z in this video. So if you guys do enjoy the video anytime throughout, a thumbs up would always be greatly appreciated by me. And also, if you guys have not subscribed, welcome to my channel. I pretty much cover here everything Dragon Ball Legends. So consider hitting that subscribe button. But yeah, guys, we're not gonna waste any time. Like I said, we got a, I mean, we literally got a ton of stuff here. We got multiple banners for new characters uh, from what it looks like and as well as uh events tweaks and all that good stuff so yeah like i said this is the 1000 day celebration so let's straight up get into it we are getting this banner here with demon king piccolo uh transforming demon king piccolo though uh that is um the one we saw in the v jump of course so i for one am extremely excited for this character he, not only does he look so cool both of these characters look so cool but he transforms for having a certain amount of dragon ball so uh we've never seen a transformation like that so i'm definitely curious also, this Broly looks absolutely phenomenal. We've uh, already seen what he uh, what he does. His Z ability is pretty much a uh, powerful opponent HP buffer, which is great. So I'm definitely going to summon on this and uh, post it as soon as it's out, guys. So make sure you guys uh, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a thing. We are also getting this banner here, which is three days, one sparking summon. Obtain a ticket every, uh, once every three days and play the summon. Uh, of course, this banner here, it's a very solid banner, nothing too crazy, some secondary anniversary units here uh, in Shenron, Samasu, uh, we got the Rage Trons, Kefla, still Kefla, I guess, uh, and uh, <laughs> I don't want to mention anybody else, but yeah, I mean, it's a free banner, so why not, uh, We, I mean, guys, I, I, we are getting a lot of stuff, we're getting three banners, we're also getting a Zenkai cooler too, so it's kind of overwhelming, but I like to see this more than it being dry itself, so I don't know if I'm a Zenkai that cooler though uh master pack z limited pickup uh i don't know if i'm gonna summon all this i think this uh, banner was already kind of out right i'm assuming increased legends awaken oh you know what increased zenkai awakenable legends limited drop rates Ooh, okay so this is uh increased drop rates for the legends limited units this banner could be possibly really good but uh it's gonna be quite difficult to see what you have to spend your uh, uh tickets on right or your your crystals on and uh, speaking of Ultra Space Hammer, it got revamped finally, guys. It did get revamped before. It was a whole bunch of old Sparkings. Now we have, uh, of course, the Kingpin of them all still. Um, uh, Father Sun coming back on, but we got LF Piccolo in the mix. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a better updated banner. So we're going to go into grave details and all that good stuff. But let's just clear everything we have here, guys, uh, step by step. So... Uh, speaking of step, <laughs> I want to get to this first. Speaking of step, you know how they do a step up summon? They did a step up sale. Take a look at this, guys. Worldwide releases 1,000 day celebration step up sale. So this sale is very similar to step up summons. How you put it? It's very self-explanatory. Step one, two, and three. So check this out. And I, I, this is crazy. Step one, 700 crystals. Step two, you get 2,100 crystals. And step three, you get five thousand crystals now i personally do not want to know how much this is <laughs> i personally am scared to know the price i think this is going to be the most expensive thing Dragon Ball Legends has ever released i don't even want to maybe i don't know maybe 70 usd to 80 close to 100 usd i i don't know maybe even more i don't know i'm just scared to to touch on that subject but we are getting a brand new campaign of course the 1000 day celebration campaign worldwide uh, releases 1000 days thanks a ton campaign not much here but just letting you guys know that we are getting campaign as well as the zenkai ultra space time rush revamp so we're getting these brand new medals which look fairly similar to the old medals as before but these medals have a gold border around them i mean i talk about creativity but uh here we can collect z power for these specific characters now toshi specifically mentioned that these characters will get rotated in and out uh, throughout time so there's gonna be these characters the new characters as well so uh, that's really cool i mean um yeah i don't really see lf piccolo here like we were able to get before but it's probably just gonna be inside the rotation but yeah i mean there's that i really hope that they do add the crystals somewhere else because they said they took out the crystals off of this and i'm gonna be extremely pissed if they did take off the crystals off of that so i'm definitely keep you guys uh posted on that for sure now this i'm actually really curious what kind of title is this i want it what do you have to do to get this title i'll do it <laughs> not like that but 
you guys get me i mean this title looks absolutely crazy like maybe the 1000 day celebration title and here of course we got the brand new rush medals which is exactly almost like the other one but gold borders around them looks a little bit cooler but no creativity there uh we are getting 1000 day medals now these 1000 day medals guys i'm assuming we can collect uh i don't know like erasers bells all that good stuff energy hopefully <laughs> skip tickets and all that good stuff so uh, yeah, these I'm, I'm assuming will be just part of the login bonus. Now, we are also getting a brand new equipment, which is this good boo right here laughing. Or I don't even think it's good boo. I think that's from the evil saga. I mean, from when he was evil. So, yeah, uh, we're getting that. Um, I'm assuming for region, <laughs> right? So, uh, of course, the cooler Zenkai. We are getting new tickets. This is the thanks uh, one sparking uh, ticket. So, like like, like I said, um, it's pretty much this right here. I think I skipped it clearly skipped it yeah it's this right here so it's the three days uh tickets every three days you get one of those tickets just for logging in and uh yeah and then you get one of those characters i mean it's free i'm not complaining or anything now these rush limit tickets i don't know why it says two maybe because it's the second rush limited um revamp ever so maybe it's just like the second version of the banner so um yeah i mean that's cool i, I guess we still get tickets which is nice uh, we are getting these question mark tickets again, guys, which is going to be for the next Legends Limited unit. And I'm going to tell you what I mean by that as soon as we get to it in a little bit. Here are the arts cards for the cooler. I do like it. The arts card's cool. I don't know if I'm a Zenkai him personally. Now, here we go, guys. We are getting two brand new uh, PvP messages, which is the Shallow. It looks really cool. And this young Boma, which is actually a brand new character coming to Dragon Ball Legends. I'm assuming it's going to be um, an EX unit, which I'm really excited for. I'll show you in just one bit. Uh, so the tickets like that, that I told you about, guys, is this event here. Just try to surpass me. So it's very similar to last month. Uh, same exact event, but we get 10 tickets. We get some of those question mark tickets, which I'm assuming is going to play the same role as it did before, which is for the next Legends Limited unit next month for March. So definitely try to grind this, guys. If you can, I will make videos to try to help you guys out to the best of my potential. So, and we're getting uh, all-star tickets as well and those other tickets, which I don't really like, but yeah. Um, yeah, Super Chrono Crystals are back. More sales in the shop. Whales come out what's, what's the whale call i don't even know what the whale call but yeah there's that we all know what that's about right uh of course 1000 day celebration uh medals and uh we get oh i see crystals here i'm definitely gonna make a crystals counter video guys and uh we're getting all of this good stuff now let's get to the new characters real quick for one quick second now let's take a look at this artwork it's just phenomenal i love i absolutely love legends artwork we got this this uh, let's see let's scroll up. We're getting a brand new I'm assuming this is going to be an EX uh, Base form future trunks team trunks and as well as the demon king pickle that you see right here And the new broly and as well as the brand new EX boma, which I'm assuming actually looks really cool I like this uh, boma a lot just the artwork and uh, 1000 day. I don't know what this is right here We're gonna figure this out in just one bit guys. They're updating this as we go now. Here we go guys Broly the brand new Broly actually looks really cool too. I have not read this at all. So let's just read this. Of course, he buffs base uh, base um, powerful opponent health. So that's great. But plus 20%, which is really good too. So uh, very standard there. And of course, uh, powerful opponent is something you definitely want to... It's so broad. There's so much you can do with powerful opponent. Anyways, he's going to be a yellow unit. And I predicted this. He is going to be a melee, melee type. Yeah, he's going to be a melee type and yellow unit. So at six stars, his uh, strike damage is at 218, which is, is kind of on the low side a little bit. 208, six stars. Uh, blast attack, all right. His defense and his health is at 2.1 million. I want to check him out at four stars. This is at my six stars. Uh, I just like comparing it at four stars. But most importantly, guys, let's read what he does. So his main ability is Awaken Menace. Sounds menacing right away. All right, so... Draws an ultimate card, Gigantic Explosion next, which is the one we saw from the uh, um, the vids and stuff, right? Which I'm assuming that was it. Restores key by 50, which is nice. Uh, plus 20% damage inflicted. Okay, so kind of basic uh, in terms of that. Now, this is what I like to see, guys. Unique ability. Uh, plus to th plus 30% damage of inflicted against Sun Family. I love that. Sun Family can rot. I don't care. I don't like Sun Family. It's had has too much going on for them. Too much. So, yeah. Some family can go. <laughs> All right. So, applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Plus 60% damage inflict, which is great. 
just for existing. Uh, that's amazing. All right, reduces damage received by 20% for 15 timer counts, which is also great. Gradually restores health each timer count for 60 timer counts. That's nice. And as well as plus, uh, minus, I'm sorry, minus five to strike, uh, to strike and blast cards cost for 10 timer counts. So that's great right there. This is a great unique ability and he still has another one. The other one, and as well as plus 20% to ultimate damage inflicted every time this character uses a strike card up to 80%. Oh, his ultimate is going to do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. All right. So next up, we got flow of power. Gain attribute upgrade minus 30% to enemy sustained damage cut effects when this, uh, when basically when the battle starts, which is great, I guess. I mean, that's standard. Uh, reduces damage received by... All right, so reduces damage received by 30% until combo ends, which is great. And then we also add an extra 20% here. So that's minus 50. Because every time he comes in, he gets a reduction to damage for 20, uh, for 15 timer counts for 20%. Minus. That's great. So that's 50. He's going to be really tanky. And he also knocks enemies back at long range after cover changing against strike attacks. Activates during assist. So that's great. This unit is looking very great. Now, let's take a quick look at his green card. His green card is Battle Sense, plus 30% damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. Yo, that's nice. Increases own arts card draw speed by level 1 for 20 timer counts. That's, dude, that's great. That's great. He gets a 30% buff and a card draw speed for 20 timer counts. Not even 15. And it nullifies own attribute downgrade and normal conditions for 30 timer counts yo his green card is busted his green card is busted i like that uh so his ultimate is gigantic explosion deals massive explode damage plus 30 percent to damage uh ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts and it could go all the way up to 110 percent assuming you're using strike cards right which is great and then also a portion of damage inflicted would also be dealt to the enemy's members on standby. Ooh, I like that. And as well as blast, uh, blast armor while charging forward. And he holds two strike cards. This unit is looking very promising, guys. Movies and powerful opponent looking very promising. Now, what I really want to look at is this bad boy right here, which is my boy, Demi King Pickle, because he's regen. Let's take a look at his stats at base form, and it's what. What is this, bro? You have got to be kidding me, right? At six stars, he does 246 blast damage at six stars? He is going to be busted. Ooh. Yo, his stats are nice at six stars. Hold the phone. Zenkai stats right here, guys. They're really doing this for transforming units like Perfect Reviving Cell and Transforming Goku Black Rose, guys. This is looking epic. I'm definitely summoning. I don't care. I'm summoning and I'm posting my summons. I'm going off. But we're here for the abilities, guys. So main ability is King of the Demon Clan. Ooh, okay. So main ability is plus 20% damage inflicted for 60 timer counts, which is basically the whole match. Minus 5 to strike costs. For 60 timer counts, which is the whole match. It takes 10 timer counts to activate this, by the way. As well as minus to own blast arts cost for 60 timer counts, uh, which is great. And then as well as minus to own special move for 60. This guy's great right away. Okay, and I'm barely even... Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Okay, so unique ability is limitless power. Increases own arts card draw speed by level 1 for 15 timer counts when this character enters the battlefield. That's amazing right away. Uh, you always want card draw speed, guys. You always want it. It's so staple. All right. So also, while this character is on the battlefield, applies the following effects to self when this character switches to uh, when when enemy character switches. Excuse me. So whenever the enemy uh, character switches, he gains 20 key, and he also randomly draws a card if you have three or fewer. Also, plus 20% damage inflicted for 15 timer counts, which is great. All right. Whew. Okay. So. Next up, we have Held on Earth, which is the following effects occur after transforming. So we're going to have to check out how he transforms. I'm going to cover that in just one bit, guys. Uh, after transforming, he inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade um, plus 10% to uh, damage received from tag regen, uh, tag powerful opponent, or episode uh, Dragon Ball Saga three times. Interesting. 
Okay. Wait, what is he? He's red, right? No, he's purple. Nice. So I guess the yellow and purple. He's nice. He's purple. Okay. Kind of missed that. All right. So plus, after he transforms, plus 80% damage inflicted, reduces damage by 30%, and plus 60% to special move damage. Jesus Christ. This guy is amazing. His blast also has something too. His blast is um, inflicts enemies with attribute downgrade plus 10% for 10 timer counts on hit. Ooh. This character is looking so spicy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, his green card is demonic. All right, so oh, what restores draws one random new card. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty good. So all right, so restores own key by forty. Randomly draws one new card and plus twenty percent damage inflicted for twenty timer counts. He holds a strike and a blast as well as he covers Dragon Ball Saga, uh, bl base blast attack and defense uh, plus thirty two percent as well as regen and powerful opponent and max star. So. Whew, I'm gonna catch your breath. I don't know. I don't know how he transforms. It didn't mention here, but uh, you have to have Dragon Balls for his transformation. But his stats automatically looks busted, and he's a purple unit, so that's perfect for Regen. Yes, yes. I'll tell you that much. I'll just say yes. All right. I'm extremely excited, guys. All right. Time to take a breath. But if you guys did enjoy the video, like I said, I covered everything. It's a 16 minute video, but. I'll definitely catch you guys in a few hours when I do my summons. So make sure you guys turn on post notifications, like the video, share the video, all that good stuff. Subscribe because I cover here everything Dragon Ball Legends Daily. Catch you guys in a few hours. Peace.